manifesting the lottery. Let's start with that. I do a lot of reading when it comes to the mind because I believe that our minds are very powerful. As you think, so it is. Thank you so much. I strive to think positive at all times. Even when things don't seem so positive, I switch my thoughts. Have to, we have to in life. <laughs> because if you don't, those thoughts that are bugging you will have a way of manifesting in your life. Amen. Amen. And so, it's always great to have people around you, to have books, even the things you watch on television. I don't watch negative TV. I, I only watch news when I feel it's pertinent because those things that you put in your, on your mind have a way of showing up. When I won the lottery on Mother's Day, yeah, it was great, but it came with a lot of pain too. I won it, but I had also lost those kids shortly before then. Those kids were taken from me on April 3rd. I'll never forget that day, never forget it. Dealing with social services. I was dealing with the system with a woman who told me that I was not a great mom because these kids weren't, they weren't, they weren't going to school the way they were supposed to. They were afraid. They were afraid because of being in the system, going through what they were going through. But she said, your kids are too happy. They don't need to be on medication. They don't need this. They don't need that. OK. So I got my kids taken from me on April 3rd. She said, they don't need medication. All right. I said my prayers. I chose not to curse the woman. Actually, I did curse. <laughs> Let me be real. I was upset. And then I remembered that I wasn't going to be blessed. So I chose to forgive. I also chose to forgive my sister, who I thought was odd that she chose to show up on that same day from Vegas and laughed at me as she saw me in my pain, and I forgave her, too. And on Mother's Day, yeah, I want it. And I, I didn't, God just provided it for me. It wasn't because I wanted to win the money so I could be wealthy. I wanted the money so I can get a good attorney to fight the system. That's what it was for. And I was blessed because of it. And one thing that I always remembered from my reading, some of my favorite books besides the Bible, because the Bible is the oldest living spiritual testament on the power of the mind. As you think, so shall it be. And also, Power of the Subconscious Mind is one of my favorite books. You have to be really clear when you say that you're gonna do what you plan to do. When I won the money, yeah, I did intend to win $112 million too. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was interesting. Um, everything, I, I, what I've realized too in life is it comes to you when you say and when you need it. And sometimes it just comes serendipitous, and like a serendipitous, uh, trying to say the word correctly, when it's supposed to. It comes. God always knows when we need things. And we just have to trust. We just have to let go. You know the saying, let go, let God? It's, it's almost like you're floating in, on water. You just have to have that trust. And that's something that is so hard for us as humans to just trust 
trusting in something that we cannot see. Just like we're breathing air, we can't see the air, but we're breathing it. That's what I had to do on my faith walk when it came to winning this lottery to help me to get to where I am today. I've been able to bless many people as a result of it, and I've grown from it. I've grown to learn that regardless of what I'm going through, he's always gonna be there. And I'm not perfect. There are times when I still get down and then I, something whispers in my ear, that's not how you're supposed to think. And I'm glad that that happens. So it reminds me, stand up and be strong because you need to be there and pull others to help them remember. So my lesson in terms of the manifesting, I visualize, I see it, I first see what it is that I want. I see it first. Because <laughs> as you see it, so shall it be. We're blessed if we are able to have sight. See, these kids' dad, my brother, was deaf. He couldn't hear. So I knew sign language. And I used to always think that is, a, I'm blessed that I'm able to hear. The things that we take for granted, I don't take for granted. So visualizing, I visualize all the time. And as you visualize, I visualize all the time that I was gonna be holding a check for $112 million written across it. I even visualized myself wearing my little favorite green top, which I don't know where in the heck it is now. It served its purpose. <laughs> I wore it out, that's what happened. Um, and I remember thinking, I'm gonna wear that top, I'm gonna hold that check, and I'm gonna be so happy. Because that what you put your strongest feeling into has to manifest. It has to, good or bad. So why not manifest your best? And that's what I strive to do all the time. And oddly enough, it's written in the Bible. These are things that I started realizing as I, I'm 50, I'll be 52 in a few months, that wow, this is stuff my mom had been teaching me for years. All I had to do was look and see it. It would have changed things in my life. But I know it now. Whatever it is you want, the sooner that you understand that, mm, I may not have much right now, that don't mean anything because I'm wealthy. The moment you start saying to yourself, I am wealthy, wealth comes to you. Wealth is an energy. Just like poverty is an energy. When you say you're poor, it will circulate in your life. When you say you're wealthy, that's what I did. I just started saying I'm wealthy. I started singing it. I'm wealthy. <laughs> I say I'm happy. In fact, Pharrell, the happy song, yes. that's my song. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that was a song that I was singing to myself because I tend to, well, I'm going through certain things and there are people who don't like the things I say universally, so they wanna attack me. And I would sing this, I'm happy. And my husband heard it on the radio one day because he would hear me sing that song. And he's like, hun, uh, your song is on the radio. <laughs> I was like, oh wow, okay. So be careful, because depending on how powerful your spirit is, you can go out, the world can hear it and come back. But be positive, is my point. Strive to be positive, because what you put out will come back, always. Even when you put out negative, it'll come back. 
So I, I always strive to be in the positive. And by the way, the social worker who said all these negative things apologized because she realized she was wrong. Because I forgave her. The Bible says to forgive your enemies, to love them. You don't have to like them, but you do have to forgive if you expect to receive your blessings. It's the truth. And yes, it, 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 it took a lot for me to do that too. We're here to be powerful, to be the best as we live and breathe. Every breath I take, I'm saying that I'm powerful. I say that I'm healthy. Because as you say it, so shall it be. That's what I say all the time. God can only be in your life when you allow him to be in your life. And you will be tested. That's part of life. But the test starts to get a little less once you realize your power. It is a great, it's great to, realize, to, to understand the power of the mind and how powerful the mind can be when you are in this, in this space of manifesting your will. It's awesome. Awesome. You want something right now, say you want it now. Don't put it off into the future. Because the mind hears you. And the subconscious mind doesn't take jokes. Don't joke with yourself. Don't say, oh, I'm so stupid. Because all of a sudden you start being stupid. I, just, I say to myself, I'm the most brilliant person on the planet. Mm -hmm. Because what you say up here is what your mind believes. So we have to be careful of what we say. <laughs>